Well, guys, this is it. Murloc's temple has been open. So let's dress up for the occasion. Yay. Don't wait, but don't want to be dressing as. By dressing up as a knight in shining armor. Yay. How appropriate. Please just make, please just have the helmet be too big for his head. Like, it just kind of, like, it just sinks like it's too big for him. Well, it fits him, but he doesn't have, but he doesn't have any for, any, any, uh, pants. Well, he never wears pants. That, I still love that whole just, well, I know, it's just, I, do, I still kind of love that justification for the, uh, for the, uh, in, in, uh, Magical Quest 3, where, um, Mickey and Donald can get the knight armor. He has to settle with, settle with the hobo variety, considering the actual knight, actual knight suit actually can't fit his Oh, big rump. Hmm. <laughs> I still love that. That's actually, that's actually, honestly, I know we're sort of, sort of get, getting a little tired with all the, all these re, re, uh, redos and all that stuff, but I actually wouldn't mind redoing, the, doing those as like commentaries. As honestly, I think it's, oh, you mean redos of commentaries, but, never mind. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, just, but anyway, we'll worry about that some other time, probably within the next year. So anyway, welcome to Murloc's Temple. Home to, home to voodoo dolls as far as the eye can see. And whatever that, and whatever whatever that look, was. Whatever <laughs> creepy looking specter that was. See, I never and a, Go ahead. Oh. And a whole bunch of lava. See, I never thought Murloc was one for voodoo. Like, he, he just had that magic talisman thingy. Well, to be fair, he is a, he is a magician of the dark arts. He's probably finagled with all sorts of weird voodoo shit. Also, if I could I mean, just I mean, do hell, a... his whole his whole lair is inside an Aztec temple. Mm -hmm. Also, if I could just mm -hmm. pull out a quick logistic thing real quick, it looks like we're in the mill. It looks like we're in a volcano, and we're wearing a suit of armor. Doll should be turned into a roasted turkey. Yeah, it should be like really overheating him. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, welcome to um, Disney. Fair enough. Where we're, 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 we're relationships can last as lur that can go on as or marriage can go on as early as three days. Who crash it? Ah no. It's like, like that's the thing. Like sometimes even the Mickey shorts kind of like le like confuse me about if they're oh. Whoa, Whoa. goodness. Like, sometimes even the Mickey shorts confuse me on if he's if Mickey is like in a relationship with Minnie or he married like just dating. I don't know. They, Especially they, the international they, ones. Oh yeah, no, they always, uh, they always like, they always jump around on what they do with Mickey and Minnie's relationship. <laughs> and I still, and I, and honestly, my greatest I, fear, I, commitment. Ha <laughs> ha. And yeah, it's funny how I still have that image in my head from one of the more recent Mickey shorts where I think it's time we saw different people. And then <laughs> Mickey's face afterwards. <laughs> oh no. Poor it's Nick. Just, it's perfect. I have to look into that because oh. I don't remember that. It's it's um it's the it's the bad luck episode. Yeah. It's just like oh we're over. It's like oh, oh yeah okay. I'm back with it. it's just, just that that alone just is Disney in a nutshell right now. Mickey, let's get back together. You got it, Toots. I love how he just calls her Toots. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, oh, no, when are you gonna get over your fear of commitment? <laughs> oh. The same time you can get over wearing the same outfit every day. <laughs> Set the pot to the kettle. Fair enough, hype. Fair enough. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. So, so this, uh, and that's right. We've been building up this whole time. So this one, this part's longer than the other ones because this is the part where the game realize. This is the part. I almost feel like the developers like designed the first world and the last world like before number one and before worlds two and three, because they have like the most attention and effort in them. In all fairness, though, it's like they were trying to make, like, multiple versions of this. Like, every single version of Donald Duck going Quackers, their own game of a sort. It's kind of funny how that works out. Right. I mean, between the... I mean, between the... I mean, granted, some of them do look very similar to others, but, like... Like, it's funny how even the N64, PS1, and Dreamcast versions are almost completely separate from each other in terms of, like, their level design and challenges and whatnot. Seriously, and of course, there's mm -hmm. and their and their soundtracks. Mm -hmm. Also, wait, that never mind, never mind. Mm -hmm. I think I'm which just right honestly, there. rats. Wait, what is that? that? I was about to say, uh -huh. oh well, it's a red one, but it but okay, so it's a red one that looks like Huey, but that one also uh, throws needles at us. There we go. Oh jeez, this place is weird. Oh, that's a soccer chop. Oh, yeah, I think by this point I forgot I actually already did this. So yeah, yeah, it's soccer again. Oh well. Oh well. But um, 
Yeah, the red ones do throw do throw pins at you, and that's the that's that can easily throw you in for a loop. I can't get enough of them going. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, Merlo has got some strange people lurking around his temple. I mean, then again, who's to say that it actually is his temple? He's probably just borrowing it for the weekend. Just renting. It's his summer home. Oh yeah. That too. Oh, he's oh, I get it. He's borrowing his borrowing Goofy Summer Home. I, I thought his Summer Home was Atlantis. Is it? Actually, no. Wait, I remember. In the movie, he said he wasn't satisfied with, like, apparently he didn't have good service at Atlantis, so he pretty much sunk it. Ah, uh, that sucks. Uh... Well, oh, no! at least that's what the movie said. <laughs> Ooh, ow! <Ooh. laughs> yeah, I know that feeling too, John. <laughs> Jeez. Whoop. Surprise you aren't Careful, dead yet. Careful, jeez. But, but of course... Well, but of course all the stuff that's just, happened to him so far. You could say that about anything. Yeah. Just a simple sip of um, milk a milkshake is all it takes for Donald to feel all better. It's good for food. <laughs> yeah, but I think you'd be better off having chocolate instead of <laughs> vanilla, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well... To be fair, Conker certainly took that in stride, Bose. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, the floating chocolate pieces. <laughs> Anti-gravity chocolate is kind of a kink. Okay, I have to win with that. <laughs> okay, oh jeez. Um, so... <laughs> this all bit's kind of BS. Uh, that's not too bad. Ah! Uh, okay. Whoop. Some of these jumps are a little bit weird. So, ultimately... Oh you... gosh! Oh, okay, you're getting more OJ. Mm-hmm. How very how convenient there was one right there. Thank you. Yeah. Mm hmm Also, I think something may have happened, because I think I'm a and little bit back. Could someone tell me when we get to seven minutes? Actually, not not seven minutes. Don't do that. Go 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 to just let me know when we get to seven minutes and ten seconds. Right, right now. now. Thank you. I knew I was well, I knew I was but I don't know what what put me behind. I didn't push anything. Whatever. Okay, we got the rain! And as far as I'm concerned, I think that's pretty much it for the crash centric levels. Now it's just the more unique <laughs> stuff, quote unquote, from here. Alright. God, just imagine if the suction just became too power powerful and it just yanked up yanked Donald from the head. <laughs> that would that would be very grisly. I was more so thinking like maybe the suction accidentally sucked his clothes up instead. I'm surprised. Bond. I'm surprised I never tried that for a um, for an actual Easter egg. I mean, what with all all that they've already done hmm. by this point. Actually, would you? By the way, would you guys be surprised to know that um, like the PS2 version of this game, when and the GameCube version that technically built off of that, it came out as early as 2000. I believe it. Really? It doesn't hmm. look that. Doesn't look that. Badly aged for 2000. Well, it's more like a 2000. Oh, yeah. Really? Well, well, the GameCube version came out in 2002, and it did add a few be oh, extra bells okay. and yeah, whistles that, that the PS2 sense. version didn't have. Yeah, but okay. The original release on the PS2 was released as early as uh, 2000 in it, December 13, 2000, in North America. <laughs> I was about to say, okay, before you explain when it actually came out, I was about to say that makes sense because I don't think the GameCube was even around doing? in 2000. Oh no, no, it came out in 2001. So obviously, I mean, it was nice. It was Whoop. nice and ported to the system anyway, just because. Well, hey, I was a big GameCube supporter at the time, and I wanted to, and I wanted to meet some Donald Duck going quackers, mm -hmm. especially considering no, no the store like yep. the, like the blockbuster near me never had it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Which sucked. Yeah, and that actually is something I. Did. And actually, something I did want to bring up, like, I know a lot of people w found it kind of unorthodox how completely oh. different all these versions yeah. are. Oh. I honestly can't help... Oops. Oh, boy. I was about to say, I honestly can't help but have some kind of ad admiration for the fact that every version of the game tries to be, like, its own thing and try to do some things different. Yeah, they really... They had a lot... Either Disney pay them... Disney Interactive paid them a lot of money, or they just had a lot of faith in this product. Yeah, 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 do the dance. But yeah, no, it it's it's pretty neat. I'm 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 not I'm liking it. I was not expecting this much polish for a game made by Disney in this era. You know, I, 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 feel, like is... they, they, I feel like they hit their stride in like the late nineties. I'll be like... right back. Okay, but then okay. I just haven't seen a whole lot for them lately. You know, actually, the now that I think about it, seeing how how they handled um, going quackers and compare that to like Rayman, it's like 
They could have done so much better than with what they did in Rayman 2 Revolution than what we got. Oh, okay. Ooh, ow! This part looks a little it's, hard. It's, this is easily the hardest part of the game right here. It's <laughs> just, just those freaking Mega Man platforms. Yep, with the spikes on the side. Oh, yeah, gosh! Cycle. Nice. Okay, and they, they, they give you a milkshake. They knew. Mm -hmm. They knew. You see, Ubisoft's got your back. I wonder which Where team made Ubisoft made. Wait, which uh, team made this? Because I know they, they have different teams, usually. Yeah, I know several teams. Let's see here. Um, The Genki version was handled by Montreal. Oh, Montreal. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Yeah, PS2 and Genki was Montreal. Uh, Instance 4 PC versions was from Casablanca. PS1 and Game Boy Advance version were from Shanghai. And uh, the Game, Game Boy Color version was from Milan. Oh, I, actually, wait, Mil Milan. I think that was the um, that's the same um, branch that actually made uh, Mario Plus Rabbids. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. I guess I would actually explain why the Game Boy Color version looks so good on the system. <laughs> More on that later, because I actually did record a like on a couple of other versions of the game. But now, was that a later Game Boy Advance game before like the DS kicked off? Oh, oh no, 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 no. All these versions of Donald Duck came out like around the 2000s, or early 2000s, like 2001. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. But yeah, okay. I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain later once we actually get around to it. In fact, I want to say um, the advanced version of the game was pretty damn close to launch. Okay. Oh yeah, and I hate I hate these um these um guys in the mask because they're one of those enemies where you can't really hit them from from the from the front. You actually have to hit them from the back. Ah. Uh. I don't think you can jump on them either, so be wary of that. See if I can get a good enough combo, and... Yeah! Whoa! Down for Daddy the cannonball! Out! Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Puff, <laughs> give him a gold star. I know, right? <laughs> we did it. And he didn't even need... Hey, gold usually star! Takes... Hey, usually, take... usually... usually people don't know how many scrolls it takes to screw in a light bulb, but for ducks, all it takes is one duck and one cannon. Yep. <laughs> So it's now that we're now Donald. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, all's well that ends well. But wait, we still have one more level. I wonder what could be lurking in there. Oh boy! I think we're missing something. Yeah, something that feels a little out of reach. But wait, it's coming ever so closely. Oh, where's Momo? <laughs> Over there. Um. Uh, oh, that's right. Oh, Hans! Oh, no. I don't see him yet. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, did he have bigger or is it just me? Right. It's just it's just you. He's he's a little far behind. Maybe yeah, it's the lighting. Little, he does look a little bigger. Well, then again, we didn't see him too terrible. I don't know. He seems around the same size as we usually see him. You'd so. think Donald would pick up the pace a little bit more than a jaunty strove the park right now. Well, he yeah. wants to pay. Well, to be fair, wouldn't you? Wouldn't would you be doing that in this situation? I'd assume, I'd assume if he's making. If, I mean, cause especially considering how slow. Well, okay, actually, I. He's. Eh, no, he's got. He's relatively catching up. So maybe we should pick up the pace. Thank God, I got some more shoes. Oh God damn it! Not again. Yeah. You're going to dang golden dreads. Well, you're in a safe spot. It's not like he ever goes down that area anyway. That's true. Actually, the funny attention to detail, like whenever you go down those holes, like they, like the hand literally stops in place before you actually exit out. Too bad he's coming faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got some. I wouldn't say like really bad rubber band AI, but he's definitely no slowpoke. <laughs> but at the very least, this will be the last time we'll have to worry about him. <laughs> he's just like. <laughs> yeah, screw, screw, screw the voodoo. But actually, yeah, funny timing. I actually got that. Who told that voodoo you do so well? Oh jeez, I, I wish this would, I, I wish this would destroy. Oh god, I wish this would destroy the hand somewhat. Yeah. Would have been nice, but yeah, I'll just grab this and love that little gesture. Ah, nuts. <laughs> so yeah, we got the final <laughs> final component, and it looks rather. <gasps> oh, blast that exercise craze. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I I am curious. What is the purpose of uh, like, what is this having us do? Like, we already got here. Daisy is here. We're gonna save her here. Where is this gonna? Where is this new machine gonna teleport us that we absolutely need to go to? 
Um, maybe it's gonna power power up the um the machine hmm. so much that it'll pretty much warp us at any point in any time. Please become like, classic right? Donald again. This is ridiculous. Classic duds, ho! Classic, classic Donald. Okay, classic Donald it is. Not that classic. <laughs> oh my goodness! So now we got his comic book colors. Oh, that's a, I didn't know that's a costume choice. That's cute. That is cute. I like it. That's total classic. Thank you for that yeah. random. <laughs> and Charles like, who are you talking to? <laughs> the devil himself. <laughs> All right, no yeah, fooling around. Let's go fight Oh, it's like, wow, seriously? No, but I will be done doing a second. Oh, God, Charles <laughs> dead. Anyway, poor Gyro. Poor Gyro. We stop and think about that. It's actually kind of dark, considering. Well, you know. Anyway, let's see here. The lava All right. pit. Hmm. <laughs> Down in the lava pits, we shall find Dude. Murloc Dude. and Daisy. And Gyro. And Daisy. Or not Gyro, uh, what's his name again? Gladstone. Gladstone, that's who I meant. <laughs> Gyro! Okay. Gyro! Comes on. Okay, I'll admit, I'll admit that portion did save that joke. Because yeah. it actually works to a purpose. Oh wow, there was a nickel inside the tube? <laughs> yeah. Bye, Gladstone. So now you found 20 cents? Why does he keep finding nickels? Macarena. Hi. Oh my goodness, he's huge. Hello. So, so yeah, here's the final battle against Murloc. That's definitely different from the N64 version. Yeah, this is a little different. Don't let the size fool you, though. It's really just for show. Makes sense. Now he transforms into a tornado, and he's about to carry that duck. And now he splits into four. There is. And the oh. one you want to hit is the one that's bigger than the rest. And that's pretty much it. Lather, mm. rinse, repeat. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Honestly, this boss fight really isn't all that tricky, though. The, the, the only thing you have to worry about are the um, disappearing uh, platforms, the fireballs, and the few times he turns into a tornado. Duly noted. Yeah. So. Oh, and still yeah, disappears but... even when you're running for the tornado. I will admit, looking back on it, I think the boss fight with him in the N64 version is a wee bit better. Just because there he turns into a dragon. That you literally shoot to high hell with a laser mm -hmm. cannon. Three different dragons. No oh god! Oh jeez! How the hell did I survive that? Oh, okay. Uh, did you don't duck? And none of these bosses have <laughs> checkpoints again. They just happen. They, yeah. They have no checkpoints. If you die, you gotta start it all over from the beginning. I mean, at the very least, they're not really long boss fights. And even then, they have such predictable pack strategies, like this. Oh, you sneaky devil. You almost, you almost hit from me there. There you go. But that's it. That's literally the end. What? Already? Yep, that's it. Oh, goodness, those screams. Yeah. That was nothing. What a pretty ballerina. Oh, hey. what? Look at what? the cute little baby Aww. being drifted off, off into the abyss. And then the thing just sinks. What? Okay, Donald. Actually, now for some reason. Alright, here we go. Now we'll see the true purpose of the machine. Ooh, of course, we gotta, of course we gotta power it up with good old foot power. Come on. You can do it. Come on! Exercise grace! It's a laser beam. Oh. Okay, well... Hey, don't it, oh. Daisy? I was half ex... I don't know why I was half expecting it to be an actual laser and Donald accidentally cuts her in half. Ow. 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 Well, careful. Yeah, the laser worked too well. Also, all that was just for one laser that can only be used yep. in one area in the place we're about to blow up. <laughs> Daisy looks so unamused. Oh jeez, we need that teleporter. Well, we can at least use it as a levitation hey, device. Cool. All right, I'm working on it. Keep your beak on. Keep your pants on, doll. I mean, Lucifer. I'm not wearing pants. And they come out. It's like, oh hey, we got another delivery. Lava pours out of it. Boom. Wait, that's well, it. Well, funny you mention that because there is one other thing it actually was me able to pull out. 
What the? Our, Murloc's machine. Cool. The machine itself. Ah, I know what this machine does. Really? Well, let's see. Hey, maybe that's a nickel. What? What Ooh. is it with you and nickels? There it is. What? <laughs> oh god, chocolate. Oh, no. What is it, chocolate? Well, it's cool. Not just any kind of chocolate. It's chocolate popcorn. Murlocs chocolate. Fancy taste. It's an extra chocolate popcorn machine. I don't know what to do about this. That's what I made chocolate popcorn for. So yeah, that that was Murloc's big invention. <laughs> and he was really just trying to one up Gyro in his own game. Why? For rescuing me. Aww. You're my no. hero. Aww. Well, at least he still got the girl in the end. <laughs> Murloc anything more. was going to kill Daisy over chocolate popcorn. Daisy. Oh no 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 no! He wasn't, he, okay, he wasn't trying to. He wasn't going to kill Daisy. He was okay. He was going to kill Donald, but over Daisy. chocolate popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And that's like wow. I'll have a monopoly over the snack industry. <laughs> I mean, gotta admit, that's definitely not the mo not the most unoriginal plot I've ever heard of. But with that said, yeah, that is it for um, Donald Duck Gold Quackers on the Nintendo GameCube. Um, thoughts? Uh, I guess I'll go first. Okay. I think this is a pretty cute game. I like that it's uh, it's got some elements of Crash to it, thanks to Ubisoft. And overall, it's just a really nice concept. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, I, like, like I said before, this is one of those games where... I mean, even if you're like a professional, you can find some fun fun in just how much you can practically just blow over everything, right down to like like booping on enemies in a row and all that stuff. It's I don't know, it's just there's just something so enticing about that. Um, what about you, Seely? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Wow, you got me right when I need to go in my throat. <laughs> um, I think this is my fir my first Disney interactive game I've seen all the way through. Really? Um, assuming we haven't done any other commentaries with me in it that was Disney Interactive. Okay, that's a good point. So, um, for first impressions, it looks like a good game. It looks like it aged a little bit, though. It has aged a bit, though, but not so much to the point where I find it terribly offensive. Like, it's still got its charm to it, and, like, I mean, unlike a, some of the other versions of the game, at least it's not riding off of um, Rayman's coattails. Yeah. And, uh, uh, it's, for its time, it's beautiful. The yeah, because that's actually, are... the N64 version was built off the same engine that made Rayman 2. Pretty much. And yeah, you guys can thank me later. The, these, this credit scene was long. Aww, Aww. Carl Barks. Yeah. Rest in peace, Carl. Not Carl Banks, Carl Barks. But yeah, overall, I would, I would play if, I, if given the chance. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, cutscene. I think. Okay. Uh, there is one last thing that a genre will say, so we'll go ahead and let nope. him speak. Just as like, soon as I overwrite my save file. Only 41%. You beat the game. <sighs> yeah, but I still got all the extra challenges to go through. <laughs> Assuming I want to. You've also given me the chance to perfect my gamma tubal teleport. Your, I thought it was your grandfather's. Anytime you want. You can even use it to go back to the scenes of your victory. Maybe you can outdo yourself with Gladstone's time attack and the nephew's special moves challenge. Mm -hmm. hey, if I wanted to. Sure, maybe in my next playthrough, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> wow. Nice. Well, so with that said, boop. Let's uh, eh, you know what? Be naked. I, I wish I could. I really do <laughs> wish I could. That's what I was trying to do. It's like, come on, I want to be naked. That no, would be fun. fun. But I'll yeah. go back to my comic book colors. <laughs> so yeah, nothing changed at all. I mean, too, Donald. Now get in here and watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway, um, hi, Logan. What did you guys think? Uh, I like, I, I liked it. It looked. I, I think part of it, almost, I would almost say, would have been even better if it just was an auto runner just by default. But then I guess some people call that lazy design. But I feel like the way you played it added an extra, an extra bit of challenge uh, to it, which you know, okay, also added a bit of precision to like where you have to jump and stuff. So I think I can see the fun in doing it that, like. Playing it and pretending as if you couldn't stop in your tracks, even though you totally can. Um, yeah. 
I, I'm interested to see what these other versions are like, since it seems like there was quite a few ports, port ups, different console releases of the same game, and see how they handled the same material. Oh yeah, and actually that does remind me, uh, Ubisoft, if you're watching this, I highly doubt you are, with all this, with all these remasters coming out, especially one of the Asterix game of all things, remaster this game! Like, seriously, give it give it the insane treatment. I'd love to see that. I gotta ask Papa Don. They gotta ask I was say Papa Don. They gotta ask Papa Disney first. <laughs> Papa Don. Before they can get the permission. Did you say for that. Papa John? I almost, I almost no, said Papa, Papa Donald, Papa. but I meant Papa Disney. Alright, hi, Papa you. Um Honestly, I know this is kind of a cheat, but my thoughts on this game are pretty much the same as when we did the N64 version years ago. Like, it hasn't really changed that much. I still enjoy it for what it is. Um, still think it's pretty fun in a sense of, like, even though the game's not particularly hard, there's some kind of there's some kind of fun to just try to go through a level of just a constant flow without stopping. It's kind of just in that regard. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's pretty much the game's biggest strength. Just, like, again, rewarding it's rewarding your fine play with just going non-stop without skipping the beat. Something that Son Sonic could definitely learn. Mm -hmm. So, on that note, uh, that's it for the GameCube version of Donald Duck Going Quackers. Uh, I do have a look at planned of the other uh, versions, so uh, stay tuned for that. Until then, I'm Jay's Man Extreme. Lucky Jack 20. Highland Princess Lita. Jordan the Cat 11. And now I own the patent for chocolate popcorn. <laughs> Good for him, because apparent because usually because I can't think of anyone out there who actually makes chocolate popcorn. Until next time, everybody. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Well, I have him by the neck. <laughs> <laughs>